I'm the race director for the Missoula Marathon and the executive director for Run Wild Missoula. Awesome. Okay, let's talk about the fact that time time is counting down. Uh, the, the races, of course, are Saturday and Sunday. This weekend is big marathon weekend. And I just wanted to get some general information about how things are going with sign-up and registration and numbers-wise. How, how are we doing? Sure, we're doing good. We're uh, pretty much on pace with uh, very similar to where we were um, this time last year, we've sold out the uh, 5K, so that's uh, 1,200 people have uh, registered for that. That's me. The <laughs> half marathon, we're, we're at about um, 34 or 3,500 people right now. And our full marathon, we're at about 1,200. So uh, are, th- are those numbers that d- did you want them to grow, or are you comfortable with that uh, considering the size of the city and your organization? Yeah, and we could we could accommodate um, a few more. We had um, for our half marathon, our limits we were looking to try to get to is four thousand and fifteen hundred in our um, full marathon. So yeah, we've got a little bit of room to um, still get up to those numbers, and and we can um, pretty readily accommodate uh, those types of numbers. We believe both on the course and what we can manage, and what we think the community can manage as far as number of beds and restaurants and whatnot. It's a a lot of people in town at those numbers, but uh, yeah, we think the community is ready for that. So we we love maybe not this year we won't get there, but next year we we'll maybe see a little bit of growth and get a few more people in town. Yeah, sure. I, now that the Missoula Marathon is established, and I know that uh, I think it was Runners World picked you as the, the if not the coolest, at, at least uh, one of the most uh, fun marathons in the country. Um, are, are you still traveling on that reputation, or has it grown since then? Well, yeah, it's grown a little bit since then. That was the thing that really made our numbers really explode. Um, that was in 2010, and we were actually named the, the best marathon in the United States by the readers of Runner's World, and, and that made a big difference. Like I say, we had a real big um, explosion in growth um, in the first year or two following that. And since then, we've, we've had some um, much more gradual, but some we've had some continued growth in the field. Um, and we just... You know, are we still working off that a little bit? Absolutely. But at the same point, we every year try to find um, how we can improve just a little bit, make the event just even a little bit better, add some amenities for the runners, and just continue to keep that uh, level of excellence that we're known for. Sure. Now, j- just just uh, 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 informationally speaking, uh, I, if you wouldn't mind letting us know where folks are supposed to come to get their packets, uh, I think probably Friday, right? And then, and then uh, the race times and where to gather for Saturday and Sunday. Sure. So the, um, our packet pickup um, for the 5K will actually be down at Terrace Park on Friday night. Um, and then our 5K is at 8 o'clock a.m. on Saturday morning. We also have a kids' marathon on Saturday morning at 10 o'clock a.m., um, they can pick up their packet on Friday either at um, Run Wild Missoula, which is in the basement of Runner's Edge on North Higgins, or race morning for the Kids Marathon um, down at the Boone and Crockett Club. Then for the, for the full and half marathons, all of those packet pickups happen on Saturday at Terrace Park from 8 to 4. And then the races on Sunday, the full and half marathon, will both start at 6 a.m., um, we look for people to take the buses out to the start because we really don't have any parking either in Frenchtown for the full marathon or at the Peak Athletic Club for the half marathon. So we ask people to take the shuttle buses, and we load those buses starting at 4.15 in the morning on Sunday over at the Adams Center at the University of Montana. Perfect. So there won't be any pickup downtown. that will just be at the Adams Center. Um, for the bus pickup, yeah. yes. The yeah. bus pickup Sunday morning. At the Adams Center, starting at four fifteen a.m. So, if if somebody still maybe just came into town, think, oh my gosh, I'd really like to be a part of this, they can still sign up for the half and full marathons, right? They can, and we have online registration open through midnight tomorrow night, and then we have a couple of days where we have to get things kind of all our data put together and get our timing company set up. But we do have race uh, or the day before Saturday. You could still come down to Karis Park, and you could sign up for either the full or the half marathon on Saturday from 8 to 4 at the uh, Expo in Karis Park. And how much will that cost, then, on the day of? 
show that um, well, it's the day before, not day of, because we don't have right. any registration day of. Right, but on right. that Saturday pickup, that will be one hundred and fifteen dollars for the half marathon and one hundred and twenty-five dollars for the marathon. Perfect. All right. Any other helpful information you want folks to know that we'll put on our uh, on our website and on the air tomorrow morning? Sure. Well, just you know, for the for those that um, aren't running. Um, we still are looking for volunteers to help out with uh, course marshals out on the course and also a couple of our aid stations. They can still sign up as a volunteer at, uh, at MissoulaMarathon.org and go to the volunteer tab. And if you're not doing anything and you're just part of the community, go out and cheer the runners. Um, they love the, to have the people out there to, uh, cheering them on. Um, I know we're going to, it looks like we're going to have some cooler weather, so I think conditions are going to be great. Um, so get out and uh, um, cheer everybody on and generate some excitement for all the thousands of people that are here visiting Missoula for the race.